talking directly to you. Ever since you got here, ever since you were hired, you've been walking around telling everybody in Knox City and everywhere you go how easy and how simple it will be to embarrass, to you, to humiliate and beat me in the ring. Take a good look. I'll just take a good, deep, long look at these eyes. Do I look scared? Do I look intimidated? Do you have any idea what I am even capable of when I'm inside that ring? And you want to do this for charity. Well, I'm fine with that. Because nobody, and I repeat, nobody dares talk trash to me and actually thinks they're going to get a day off when they're in the ring with me. Because I guarantee you, you walk around like some pretty boy with all the women smiling, winking, hanging around you like you're some rock star. You have no idea what you got yourself into. Because I'm not only going to stop a Texas mud hole in you, I'm going to make you the most horrific, ugliest man in Knox City. Because you want a piece of me. I got something to tell you, boy. <clears throat> I've always been a champion. All my life, I've been a champion. And I don't intend on letting some wrecking, some redneck, no good for nothing punk come walking in here thinking they can take me on. You want to do this with charity? Let's do it. Just remember, you have just made the biggest mistake of your life. Bye-bye. <laughs>